They're showing off their latest dance routines, but these performers might soon have to search for a new place to practice their moves. They're in professional training at Senegal's School of Sands in the fishing village of Tubab Dialao. It's an institution dedicated to African dancers that aims to encourage collaboration between dancers, choreographers and companies from the continent and the rest of the world. We offer a way of moving traditional dance towards contemporary dance. This is an interesting approach as the dancers realize that we are offering them the possibility of passing from one style to another, and nobody else offers this at any other school. The center, which is now at risk due to lack of funding, is the brainchild of Germaine Akoni, who's known as the queen of contemporary African dance. For dancers like Rama Kone, who've been taking classes at the school during the last year, it provides a platform for artistic expression that is rare on the continent. This school is like a dream, a dream for any young dancer, as it is a school which improves so many things in our training, in our behavior, in our dance education. They know how to get people together, how to train them, they know how to guide the dancers. They know how to make you love dance. This school is extremely important, very important for African culture and in particular for dance. Hearing that this school might close down was a shock for me. The school's management is hoping the Senegalese government will step in with a much-needed cash injection and is calling for contributions from other stakeholders on the continent. <laughs> Meanwhile, the students hope to follow in Akoni's footsteps to try to chart new paths for contemporary African dance.